tip for you. Oh, what is it? Don't walk around under the giant when he's stomping mad. <laughs> Is that what happened to your tail? Yeah, I was on my way to the cheese store. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Yeah, it's still throbbing. Look, I can see my heartbeat. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> well, that's, that's not what I had in mind, but listen, stay out from under the giant, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it's a math tip. I call this one the big roundup. Yeehaw! <laughs> what are you talking about? I'll show you. Here, have a look at the magic mirror. I look good. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Whenever you're adding up big numbers, round up the ones place number to make it zero. Then subtract the amount you rounded up from the ones place to add. Sounds confusing, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, it's not really. Here, watch this. Take 19 plus 18. Just round up the 19 to make it 20. Now add 20 plus 18. 38. Good, now subtract the amount we rounded up, which was one. You mean 37? Yeah, perfectly. You got it here. Let's try another one. 28 plus 39. Let's see here. Round the 39 up to 40. That makes it 28 plus 40, which is 68. Now I subtract one for the roundup that I did, so we should have 67. Yeah, that's it. So let's do a big three-digit addition problem here. How about 295 plus 126? Ooh, okay. Uh, I'll round up 295 to 300. And that means we'll have to subtract 5 later. So that makes it 300 plus 126. I say that's 426. And then we subtract the 5. And we get 421. Awesome, Rat. You got it. All right. I bet you do too, kids. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't forget to download the worksheets and practice, practice, practice. Until next time, we'll see you later. Say bye-bye, Rat. Bye-bye, Rat. <laughs> see ya. See ya. Oh, look out. Whoa. Rat, be careful.